On to another person who I will miss, Jerry Hope with our next speech. Um, I'll be singing my speech tonight. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I just wrote something, so here we go. Uh, my name is Jerome Hoke. Uh, my aliases include Jerry, Jer Bear, Gerald, and I was actually just called this uh, by the secretaries and happened the entire year, Jeremy. And uh, also, uh, I, I like to term myself that one kid in IB who thinks he's funny. I don't know if I deserve that, but anyway. So, we're graduating. In my notes, it says to pause for cheers and whoops of 09. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, thank you. I really hope I wouldn't have to like, go into an awkward staring contest. Though, but, you know, so, but most of us have spent four years together. I, however, didn't come to college until sophomore year. I missed a legendary, epic, and altogether memorable freshman year. I did not have a Greek feast. I did not memorize Julius Caesar quotes. I have never <coughs> experienced griots in Egypt projects or griots, whatever, I didn't experience that. <laughs> and I really have no idea what those are other than from sentimental stories. You want to know what my first experience at college was? It's not what a piece of work is man, or anthem, or the Vitruvian man, or the court cases. Nope. On my first day at cause, my backpack, with my summer reading inside of it, was stolen. <laughs> yeah, so I announced this tragic truth to 50 new faces in AP European history, expecting to be ridiculed, scrutinized, and altogether laughed at. My life over uh, within an hour of arriving at school. Uh, instead, I was taken seriously. My classmates looked on, on with sympathy, and Mrs. Koblenz uh, went well out of her way to help me, finding it deposited unceremoniously in the corner of the courtyard. <laughs> so, if this really tells you anything about me, it's that I have a hard time holding on to things that are important to me. But I swear by the noble Pegasus, by the tunnels that run through the holy belly of cause, and by Dr. Murray's Hawaiian print shirts, <laughs> I did just swear that, that I will hold this me these memories forever. Because what we have experienced at cause lays the groundwork for what we will do with the rest of our lives. And that is important. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If they do, pull an Atticus Finch on them. Not quite sure what that meant, but it sounded good. Cool. I think uh, Mrs. Foley and the rest of the humanities department will like it. Always shooting for that A. <laughs> yeah, so I really want all of you to know just how important cause is and how much these past three years have meant to me. For those of you who know me, you may be expecting a smart aleck comment and sarcasm. That may come later, but in all seriousness, I'm glad I came to cause and got to know all of you. I'm glad that I got to play hack a sec in the courtyard, that I got to go to the Amish trip, that I got to go to Stratford, that I got to eat our absolutely delicious school lunches. <laughs> There's the sarcasm, by the way. <laughs> I'm glad that I got to witness the various pregnancies of the humanities teachers. <laughs> that I got to hear Dr. O's mantra of, go to college! <laughs> fake car crash last year, even though everyone laughed when I died. <laughs> Still, there were some good moments at cause. I made great friends, I had some fantastic teachers. I've been stressed out of my mind and have gotten a lot less sleep than I would have liked. While this is not necessarily a good thing, it is something I will definitely remember. Like the various theater productions at cause, I enjoyed those. And I think you did too. If you didn't, lie to me, please. Still. We've all had our personal moments, too. Our good days and our bad. Luckily for me, my bad day was on my very first day, so cause could only get better in my eyes. <laughs> in any case, I hope that, for each of you, there have been more good than bad. Sure, there were the days leading up to the AP and IB exams, the days following the assignment of the Brit Lit and government finals, and the days when we were just so ready to be anywhere but cause. But even those days are outweighed by the good, and I think it's the good things, like Mr. Dodrell's all-too-brief mustache, <laughs> or this stash that will be remembered fondly. Got it. 
I can see how you might think I've been talking for far too long about absolutely nothing. And that every time it seems as if I might make a point, I move on. <laughs> well, that's life. We move on. And we have to keep moving. But we leave pieces of us behind, and we pick up pieces of others as we go forward. And I can honestly tell you that my life will not be complete unless every morning when I wake up at Rochester, where I'm going to school, I hear this shrieking noise of, Good morning, Columbus Elder High School! We all will, even if we don't realize it yet. Maybe that just makes it easier for us to say goodbye. So, goodbye Columbus Alternative High School Class of 2009. And if there is one thing you bring away from this speech, remember to hold on tight to those important things in your new life, like your backpack. Yeah.